This is the grave of James White in Fenwick Churchyard. James was a covenanter, and the horrific story goes that though his body is here in part, his head lies elsewhere. Not far from here is Little Blackwood, and here a number of others were taking part in a conventicle, that is, a meeting of the covenanters, a prayer session. Captain Peter Ingalls of the Royal Dragoons, it was his job to stop these conventicles, and he discovered it. After some initial fighting, James White was shot at the site and was therefore was killed. Now, seven others were captured. Rather horrifically, they removed the head of James White and took it back with the seven prisoners to New Milnes Castle, where the other seven were interred. However, one of the soldiers used James White's head as a football, kicking it along the New Milnes Green. The locals were so incensed by this behaviour that they later took some tools from the smithy and broke into New Milne's church. During this process, one other person named Law was killed and is buried nearby to the castle. However, the others escaped. It is said that the soldier who had been responsible for kicking the head of James White as a football fell from the battlements of New Milne's castle and was killed. This is New Milne's castle, sometimes called the Ducket Tower, because for a while, apart from it being a jail, it was a dovecot. This is thought to have been built in about the 1530s for Hugh or Hugo Campbell. It's said that he built it after his original castle at Ark Loudon was burnt down by the Kennedys.